The mark of Satan. I'm cutting the dual matter. That's the brain outer covering. There we are. This is the actual lesion. It's a jibul hyperpsomniae. I'll stop the bleeding. Suck up, please, sister. We're now going to secure hepatomyosis while under local anesthetic. Clip, please, sister. Good. Leave my son alone. Leave my, my son alone. Oh, my Mr. Road. I got two weddings. Your sweet mistake. Oh, yes. There's a bit of a cock up. That's why well, it's late. Nine pound? Yeah, that's what it should be. Sixteen. Should be sixteen. I've got it right here. Then what's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's a mistake. That's why it's, it's late, honestly. It should be nine. I know we said sixteen. I'm sorry. Oh, look. If you don't believe me, check with Pete Hawkins in the path lab. Honestly, this should be nine. Is that, is that label off the body? Hey! You don't take that, didn't take that off. Hey, you don't take that off. You give me, get me shot. Well, well, I need, I need to copy it. I'm putting it straight back. No, no. Crikey. You don't, you don't, don't take that off. I, I took it off so they wouldn't make a mistake. But don't make a mistake. You put, you do not the register in there. Put it back before Miss Dr. Harris comes. Nothing comes off till the undertaker's been. There's still a name. There's still a name band on the wrist. That's on the body. The label stays on the shroud. And it's doubles. Check. Well, we will learn, huh? What number has been given to him? I haven't yet. Make it nine. Nine? Yeah, or nine. Or empty. Honestly, it should be nine. Yeah, nine. Empty. Well, Mr. Road, how are you enjoying your third day in your new career? Better than the theatre, orderly. In the two years, you can become a qualified like Mr. Markham. Enjoy some privileges and the vastly inflated peace girl. Oh, John? We took, we look for signs of electrocution. Now, turn him over. Look at the back. Well, gentlemen, looking at the mortal remains held up. We are looking at the mortal reins held no mystery. The stent that Mr. Holt tried to operate upon himself but by applying an electric drill to the head. A do it yourself merchant, a rather boring person. Still, it's one thing to enthrall the, by the wit and wisdom of converse, conservative brand self help, other to attempt to penetrate one's cranium and free the eight bit I purchased from the local Iomanger. And without anesthetic, what he was trying to achieve, I don't know. Except the end result. I was at an elsewhere spur and NHS a come to rescue a remedial operation for subdural hepatonia, blood clot. Note the drills, penalty of entry, through the temporal bone. All right, yes. Curious thing. Whilst Mr. Holt was undergoing surgery, apparently he cried out, in terms of more of a fitting, Count Dracula, beseeching the neurosurgeon to leave his soul alone. Leave my soul alone, he said. Don't touch my soul. He died. So, Edwin, your biblical story may be reduced emphatically a soul so long, regarded by Keats and Shelley's of the world, residing in or near the heart, lies in no such lobby, but in the brain. The question arises to what, to whom? Was he addressing his plea? Was it Mark directed at the guard, the surgeon, or the devil? What was it Mr. Holt was trying to protect? Or did he simply or did he simply try to kill himself? But if so, why use electric drill onto the bonds? Rather a painful way of committing suicide, I would have thought. Whatever it was, Mr. Holt was terrified. Poor demented being. There was thank you for your lucky stars. We had no such positions, gentlemen. The brain. Cause of death coming coning of the brain stem in the forum smagium. So it was an instruction, so after all, nothing so dramatic. How much did you win as a sweep then? Nine pounds, it should have been sixteen. How are you going? How are you doing? No, that's not right. These stitches they've got to be a lot closer together than that. Nine stitches at least at every to every nine three inches. 
Nine, a good rule. Right, I'm off to lunch. See you at two o'clock. Honestly, it should be nine. Market nine. Nine, empty. What have you done? Cut yourself? No, prick it with a needle. What, stitching? What, stitching up the body? Yeah. Bend to casualty? No. You better go off then. How long ago? Just after you went. Go on. I'll tell you, you're, sti- you're stitching up a body. Prick yourself. That's an anti tetanus jab, that is. And penicillin. I've got iodine on it. I put iodine on it, on, onto it. That's no good. Go on. Or oh, I'm not responsible. You never put iodine on. They could be, they, that could be for his, you know, jabs. He picked it himself up. In the whole case, he's gone now. He should be all right. Oh, Miss Johns, you've been telling me. Have you had your jabs? Yes, I'm good. Well, we don't want to be contaminated by Mr. Holt's disease. I'm telling you, John, I, sh- I saw the police dr- dr- doctor at lunch. He tells me the reason for Holt's self-operation. He will lead in an imaginary pressure from his head brought on by what he thought was an evil virus. He was obsessed that his body had been invaded by the devil. The only way he could see to let it out was by drilling his head. Except he'd been taken over, crying out for his soul not to be touched. The only way to kill Dracula was a stake for the heart. So why not a drill for the brain? Look of madness, quite impressive. How's your mother, by the way? Is he hearing any better? No, doctor. Oh, well, never mind. <coughs> Face the world, Edwin. I don't, don't let it get you down. As my illustrious ex-class room forbear used to write and death's well never hold domination well Mr. Road I've got a job by the way is there something around the corner takes babies so I'd be able to pay the rent won't I what's up it's alright has anybody been here today I'm wearing sunglasses no that's not what that's not what that I know of I've been upstairs mostly sure you're alright if you see anybody you tell me well, anybody special? What's the name? Take your shoes off, Edwin. I cleaned up in here today once. Don't want you involved. What did she say? Did she, she, did she call me something? That's right. Take the pram. Out, filthy thing. All over the floor. There's a good baby. What did she call me? Nothing. Don't worry, Mr. Road. I'll pay you the real rent. Still have, haven't taken your shoes off. We used to have names for things like her. Well, as a young nurse. Where you learned hygiene, scrub everything, even under the stair carpet. Did you hit, get my hearing aid batteries? Yes. Don't turn that up. Just like your father. Sit around, no willpower, do anything. You don't die of meningitis in these, these days. He's given up. With all those drugs, he gave up. Her attendant. You could have become a nurse or at least. Shut up. What are you doing talking to her for? I want her out. I don't know what she was. I didn't know if she was having a baby, else I wouldn't have taken her. Shut up. Have you told her? Oh, we want her out. Well, do you? I can hear you. I did. I said, did you? Listen, leave me. Don't touch me, my soul. And then he died. Hello, Steve. Oh, Mr. Road. I thought uh, it was someone else. Come in. I've got it, the rent. Do you never listen to the police? What? What was the matter where the messages are oh, warning you? If you need warning about what? Them. That's why I asked you about the sunglasses. Let me get, get your rent. I'm not mad. I've got proof, Dr. Harris. is a pathologist. John Markham is a technician at work. I only worked with him for three days, but I knew it was coming because the police have tried to contact me. This morning, a nurse gave me £9. Then, well, it should have been 16 Markham told me the body brought in should be number nine. Later, he told me, to do nine stitches to every night three inches. He caused me to prick my finger with a needle. That's what he, that they wanted. His house is number nine on the house. They was on this house for my life. It, it, the house, the, the, this house number nine, nine on the house in my life. Nine is my winnings and my destiny. Luck, fortune. Nine, the body stands for death. There's three nines. Three nines make 27. Three and two, seven is nine. It's complete. You can't skate dull, 909. Yes, don't be frightened, please. You won't be touched. It's not that they are 
It's not they they're after. It's me. But you're right, the police have been room broadcasting. They use the weather vane at, at the hospital to my radio car. Car radio. So I was ready for them. Outside they wear sunglasses because their evil can't stand sunlight. It's the same as the police number. They enjoy doing that. It's part of their game. Perverse. But what? But why you? I mean, because I'm innocent. That's, I'm not evil. Never been ill. I'm clean inside. Never caused harm to anybody. That's where they tried to get me infected. They told me about the virus. They're being clever. They tell you. They tell you. You think you, they can't be. You can't be involved. They told me to get an anti tetanus penicillin inje- injection. They waited an hour after the infection to tell me. An evil virus won't react to the infections. Anyway, injections anyway. But they played safe. I had to tell somebody. Yes, yes, of course. Why don't you? The police come and tell you. Why do they? Because it's, it, it's evil. Evil can't. They look, they look stupid coming and saying people are trying to affect you. How could you? How would I believe that? The police don't. They have to be, do it secretly. They wouldn't. Uh, just. I just thought I wondered. Your mother always getting on at you. I just wondered in your mind. You know. You imagine. I haven't told, told my mother. No, it means she gets at me as well. If she was at home or something, you might feel better. No, no, I'm talking about facts. I'm giving you facts. That's mo- There's more. i am not even told you about the looks they give each other. Samson, his people, Samson, nursing officer, he's giving me him, to- I see him talking about me in his cafeteria. He gave, he gave me the nine pound. There's, t- there's ten. Edwin, you're up there. Are you up there? Shh. I was operating theatre, Samson. Got me the job in the mortuary. Well, good luck. I look out for sunglasses. Hello, Steve. What are you doing up there? No, no, you don't know him, huh? Sorry. Got you tea. Oh, we had a meeting and decided in best interest of public relations. Well, now you've got a £16. Cheerio. You're not with them. I thought you were them. Can I talk to you? It's very important, John. We have to, to get sorted out that stuff. Oh, look, excuse me, I've got to rush. Hmm, I want to, yeah. I'll see you later, okay. Make it nine, off, nine afternoon, Mr. Road. You really did this job, Edward. Edward, is you get to tell the most carb and delicious stories at dinner parties. Like last year, I sent a brain to the path lab, and it was the brain of our mother. Tell me that over the part of the cocktails, Edwin. What are the symptoms of meningitis? Meningitis? Certainly vomiting, headaches, also not set. Why? You're right, headache. From his cursorial pressure inside the head, thank you. Why do you ask, Roger? Stand by. Can I help you? Yes. Kill me. At first I thought it was Dr. Harris and the others. Now I know it isn't. Well, not directly. Who is it? My mother. She gave me my name. Edwin. Edwin adds up to nine with rude. But your father gave you your name as well. He's dead. She killed him with some same virus. Symptoms of meningitis, an evil virus. I am in this, are the same. Pressure inside the head. She did, also hid the TCP from me. Samuel Holt, name adds up to nine. The same as nine. The five nines now, five nines of 45. Four and five is nine. It says in the book, nine is of a universal number. Evil is used in the universal. It's the same all over. You're telling me that you're all a disease? It's caused by evil. Well, of course, I proved it. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Please go on. Well, that's it. That's all. That's all of it, Edwin. If all the disease is evil and doctors treat disease, why not let them treat you? You why come to me? I told you this special virus infected with viruses disguised to look like meningitis. Look, my father. The numbers prove it. Can I read you something from the Bible? It's from the book of Revelation. Yes, here, I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. He had two horns like a lamb, a spake like a diagon. Dragon calls this all to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of man. And this number is 603 score and 6. Now that's 666, not 999, 666, that's 999 backwards. 
Three sixes are eighteen. Eight and one is nine. My son is a number of a man, not a woman, not your mother. Please do this for your body's sake. No, no, see a doctor. No, God, no, I really do, do need to beg you. Oh, my God, according to the sergeant's evidence, this is salvation, laying and kidnapping, the baby killing and eating it. It was prompted to do this by his voices could drive out the devil in him, carrying out this terrible deed by the servant's arrival. I will do all needed. All right, when I'm off, good riddance. You're welcome to her. Hello, Edwin. Come on. Come up, you laughed at me. You told me, you told him and he laughed. I did what? You laughed at me. You don't believe me. What? What was that? Laugh at you. Never. I never laugh at you anyway, Stephen. Gone, out, gone now. He left now. me now. I'm on my own. Come up. I'll, take us, I'll make us both a nice cup of tea. Come on, you can trust me. Come on, come on, that's it. Come on. Oh, lovely. You're home early from work, isn't it? Aren't you? It's her, huh? My mother. What about her? It's her. She's directing them. Oh, you mean getting it? You mean getting at you? Well, I said so, didn't I? Dr. Harris asked me. My mother's hearing was any better. How did you know she was deaf? How did you know that? I never told him. So he must have known her. I, uh, there was obviously a connection between them. She killed my father. Oh, you poor thing. They asked me to work on the mortuary. The effect hold it halt, didn't they? Yes, they said so. They carried out an experiment to see if he could be given a virus of evil. Then he had, he had, he had to do terrible things with brain. He didn't. He tried to cure himself with a drill. He failed. He died. He needed somebody else, so he chose me. Oh, they have an experiment. They do, then they do it to everybody. I'll take over the world. Do you take sugar? It's sort of cream in my head. So. Uh, Zack, ice cold. It's like a black hedge against snow. You've never been loved. That's your trouble. You need somebody like me. I'm going to find a place for Steve. But now Steve's gone. This one room's not big enough for a baby. Your mother which should let me but look after you. She would should go into the old people's home. Couldn't do that. Get her into a home. Look after you. Let me look after you. This one room's not big enough for me and the baby. Let me look after you. It wouldn't take... It really would make everybody happy, wouldn't it? She's evil, I was thinking. Her sister would be happier. Shush. Oh, oh, my dear. Oh, you killed her. If you slipped her throat and hang the body upside down, all the blood drains away. You get rid of evil and burn that's left. That's left and then you put you away. And what will I do? Come on, help me clear it up. Have you got the key? You must have to say, we just have to say she wandered off. She's such a, so she was a silly old thing. We could eat you. Couldn't we? Huh? Eat you? Eat you? Mm, yum, yum, yum. Oh, we could eat you all up. The baby would drive out the evil. Then him could eat you up. You all up, couldn't we? Eat you. Good evening. I'm Father Mac- Macintosh. Does Mr. Rude live here? Yes, he does. Is he in, do you know? I think he, don't think he is. I wonder if I can have a word, Miss Rude. She's gone, yeah, I'm here. Know him? Yeah. Can I have one of you, then? Do you mind? No, come in. It's through here. There, this way, thank you. You talked about, to me about numbers. Numbers? No, I don't think so, obviously. I don't think so, obviously. I can tell you that what he said, but I'm very worried about him. Does my name mean anything? Yeah, it's the police. Well, can you do me a favour? Ask him to drop by the presentary and see me. Yeah, I'll do that. Good. Well, I better, well, I better be going. So, you, if you could just have a word and say, very grateful you dropped by. Yeah, you do that. Bye, thank you. Goodbye. Now, why did you just tell him that? I don't know. I didn't know you were there. You told him I didn't tell you about the numbers. Numbers? Of course I didn't. I didn't want him to connecting me with it, did I? Did I? Not with a baby. We don't want you involved, do we, baby? We should eat. We could eat you, couldn't we? Oh, we could eat you, couldn't we? Eat you, eat you, eat you, eat you. Nothing else is there. No, but nothing else today there is there. No, doctor. No. We will justify. I'll justify my golf membership. 
I play one majestic round and around. Nine or eighteen. Eighteen, good heavens. Never make the nineteenth. It's nine for me. One short glorious nine. Why, gentlemen, honestly, it should be nine. Make it nine, uh, um, nine, nine empty. Hello, Edwin. I've been to the head, hairdressers. Do you like it? Not my fault it's not it's working. Try another. No, it's not evil. If it to make it you bet it's to make you feel better. There's a priest asking for you to see you, Edwin. A priest? There's the last thing he wants. Tell him he can't see him. Where's Miss Doctor M- Manders? Manchester, you're slow. You had his baby three months. What we did what he asked for, yeah, I done my job. Well he didn't respond, did he? Well he isn't now. Is he? That's enough for you. Another week, and then it's Dr. Manders. Edwin, Edwin, somebody to see you. My name is Dr. Manders. What's yours? Edwin, good. What's he had? Two, every two weeks, 25 milligrams, especially. Have you seen a priest? What priest? Macintosh, Edwin's local. He's connected with him numbers. Nothing to worry over. Well, we must start. Hopes was like me this, remember? No, we don't want to call it half... Call a halt down, do we? Come on, Edwin. Come on. That's it. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. That one's ready. Come on. It's different to killing your mother. You don't. You want to be cured, don't you? The sacrament, Edwin. Eat my body. Remember it's for me. He that eateth my body and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I am him, him. This is real. And on upon his forehead with a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the Mother of the Hylots. The domination of the earth. Kneel quickly and be showeth me pure evil water of life. Crystal, clear as crystal, proceeding out the throne, a god and a lamb. There shall be no walk cursing it, but the throne of God shall be in it. And behold, I quick, I come quickly. A word is for me, for I am the Alpha and Omega. I am the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed as they do, the commandments are. For they who have the right for the tree of life, he fell with him. We have to send him back, find someone else. Well, Edwin, you'll lend us a merry dance. It's been three months. I don't know whether you remember this gentleman, Dr. Manders. Well, he's taken a great deal of interest in you. He came specially to see you, Edwin. You suffered from a very acute persecution mania. If you like, do you know what? No, that, that don't you? Yes. But you have responded extremely well to drugs. I'm sure you're feeling much better now, aren't you? Yes, Doctor. Does the number nine mean anything to you? We moved the trigger. How are you feeling? Fit enough to go home? Yes. Good, excellent. You're going to need regular treatment, but I don't see any reason why you can't resume work after you had a bit of rest. Oh, here's one more thing, Doctor Harrison. I felt feel that I'm not suited. You're not suited to be in the military. How would you like your old job back? In the operation theatre. Yeah, thanks. Think. I think tomorrow, sister. Mr. Road will go home. Yes, yes, sir. Well done. Hello. Oh, you remember me then, Stella. That's right. I came to see you once, but you didn't. Um, you were so poorly. Oh, dear. The time I had with my hair done. You ju- you just let out one hair now. One hair out. Let one yell. I thought you died. Do you remember any of that? No. Let me make you a cup of tea. Nice cup of tea. Oh, say hello to Mr. Road. It went, oh, about the rent. I paid it into your bank except for this month. Oh, it's all right. I was really worried about you. How do we get an ambulance? Did you get your old job back? Yes, I'm going to be operating theatre. Going back to the operating theatre. Oh, yes, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Well, three months. That's a long time. It's amazing. What can I do with the drugs? What they can do with drugs? No, isn't it? I always thought paranoia was beyond that. What were the things that convinced you? What were the things that convinced you? Can you remember? Ah, there was a brother. They didn't remember that. The doctors left. So they thought the police were trying to warn me for it. Kind of aerial. Good Lord, what are you trying to warn you about? Can't remember. Hey, hey, hey it's here about the virus. Despite intensive work that struck down three nurses, Mains down. Three nurses remains identified, as well as the mortuary. Mains closed. Hello, Edwin. 
Oh, 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 Edwin. Edwin, leave me, leave me. You want, don't, want to be cured, don't you? Sacrament, Edwin. He that hasn't eaten my body, a drink of my blood, dwelleth in me, and I am him. It is for you, Edwin. It is your only cure. Halt! You won't, mustn't take it, won't take it. Join us. Eat the baby. I've gone to such a lot of trouble. Come on, Edwin. Edwin, lock the doors. Put the keys in my desk. I will. Good night, sucker, please. Leave my soul alone. Clip, please.